Plums Worm Hat, send this video to people who believe in toucans. Toucans are another hoax animal, and it's another hoax animal that gets pushed on children. Pandas, koalas, narwhals, these especially get pushed on children. And toucans are another one that get pushed on children. Think Fruit Loops. And if they can get you to believe in something since you're young, you'll just keep believing in it. Nobody ever comes up to you and says toucans are fake, so you just assume it's real because you've lived your whole life just thinking that it's real. Toucans have kind of a big nose thing. There's quite a few fake animals out there that have large noses, and the nose is somehow related to lying. We have Pinocchio, and there's also the... They like to openly talk about certain things. One thing is, it's just a known thing that touching your nose means you're lying. And that's kind of a funny thing because, like, what, when you're lying, are you, like, subconsciously going to touch your nose or scratch your nose? No, it's just that you're surrounded by a lot of people that they speak with their hands. They're constantly speaking with their hands and speaking in symbols. And the nose is just one of those things. So a big nose means liar. Toucans have a lot of hints at them being fake. That's, we see a lot of jokes about zebras being painted that way. It's because that's not a joke, that's the truth. We see a lot of uh, animatronic uh, gorillas. They There seriously are tons of videos out there of animatronic gorillas and animatronic pandas, and they say that they're using them to spy or something. It's just another... They like to make jokes about the truth. That is just one of their MOs. The people who control this place, that uh, put on this fantasy show for everybody, all the world's a stage, they act in certain ways. And one of the ways that they act is joking about the truth. And we see that with toucans. So what is it? I mean, does this look legit down here? You can tell that is ridiculous. It's just a fake beak put on a bird. And it's another thing that's been blown out of proportion. There are certain birds, I believe in just one instance of a place, Costa Rica. I believe that there is a real type of bird that does have a large beak. But it's not like this large, this to this level. I think that what they do is they take something from real life and then they blow it out of proportion. Like, great whites are a hoax. They take a real thing, a shark, and they blow it out of proportion. Toucan, I think, is the same thing. They take a real idea, which is a bird with a pretty large beak. Some, some birds with large beaks exist. However, they blow it crazily out of proportion, and they sell you a fantasy to get you to believe in, in things that aren't real. And that's enough of a reason for them. They love... They, the people who control you, and... Anyways, they... People just always ask me what they is. You know, it's everybody. They're your neighbors. They're your, it's people that throw the triad claw when, before they come into your house or when they, there's just so many people in on this stuff. So this toucan hoax, it's just a thing that people know about. There's certain bird owners out there that know that this thing is a big hoax. And I guess they have connections where they can get one of these prosthetics to put on their bird. They just have a trained bird and they put this face mask on. Do you see the white the edge. This is a, it's a black bird, and that blue is so unnatural. And orange, of course, orange is thirty-three, and it's one of the colors that the Unix these controllers they love. And also, right up here, look at it's an orange triangle with an eye in the center. That's like the all-seeing eye inside of a pyramid. So they got their signs and symbols. It's a plastic beak on a trained bird. I mean, look how photoshopped this is. The tongue. The tongue is bizarre. You, there's something about the tongue that is just so bizarre. That's not a real tongue. It's like a weird, I don't even know. It just looks photoshopped in. Because, like, where's this one? If the tongue is super long like that, what are they just saying it's down in this one? Can you see it's just a face mask on a bird? Oh, they love to talk about... That's why, uh, that's why I picked this one. <laughs> Mystery of the Toucan's Beak Solved. 
They're always talking about, oh, the mystery is solved, the mystery is solved, and they'll tell you a bunch of BS, but they won't tell you the truth that is, it's fake. It's a fake beak on a trained bird. But they love talking about that. Oh, the mystery solved. I think on my Great White, white video, they had a few articles like that about Great Whites. They love to sell you these emotional stories. Mutilated toucan gets 3D printed beak. Oh, another... This one is really obviously just like a fake face mask on a bird. It's not look right at all. And they like to sell you emotional stories. It gets more people to donate. Is that orange text? Yeah, it's orange. R rest skate animal? But it's orange. Orange is there favorite color. Look at all these birds dressed up. Train birds to be dressed up. You know, face masks. Somebody I know, they they say that toucans are like a black parrot. And it could be that. Could definitely be these. I mean, this type of parrot has this frilly thing. I don't know if maybe they trim it to make it look like a different thing because that's what they do with the zebras. A zebra, they take the mane and they trim it. That's why the zebra mane is sticking straight up. That's what happens if you take a horse and you trim their mane. It sticks straight up like a painted horse. So I don't know if they're taking a black parrot and trimming that frilly thing and then putting a face mask on it. Because it did look like this, but just without the frilly things. Or just a different type of parrot that doesn't have that, like this. All I know is that Training birds is a very popular thing, and people that spend their life training birds, it's like an obsession to them. Bird people, they have these huge cages, they think of people that you've seen just walking around public with a bird. These type of niche hobbies, enthusiasts, it's full of masons, and they love to lie, and they love to sell you a story, and create their own reality. They get off on this stuff, getting people to believe in fake reality we're just going to end by watching this thank you a subscriber sent me this they they just said that they were looking through videos and they saw this and it was ridiculous so i haven't seen this but i'm sure it's going to be really bad because one of the biggest things that shows that toucans are a hoax at least this this type of toucan there may be some smaller version of a bird out there that has a pretty large beak but nothing like this this is hoaxery anything that looks like toucan sam that looks like this is a hoax it's a trained bird with a face mask and they add in sound effects this bird's name is ripley look at the orange icon up here thanks to our patrons and the icon's orange and yeah let's just get into it i'm gonna skip through because it's kind of a long video before we get started, I'm going to give a shout out to our newest patrons on Patreon. Oh, oh actually, first I'm going to do a cur- What are they called? Anyways, I don't know. Why don't we just get started, because she's obviously eyeing these little bananas. I got these little baby- Let's see how well bananas. this toucan you eats can the bananas. Their, their look at them. Yeah, I know. Do you hear that noise? That's a- They're over they try to, because They try to the say that's the noise that this them. thing makes. She's never had baby bananas before. She likes her fruit, just in general, a little overripe. Okay, let's get to it. That looks good, doesn't it? I might have to do a test taste before I give it to you. They claim that that noise is what this thing is making. I'm just kidding, I want to do that to you. Alright. It's a face mask on a blackbird. Almost got it. And there we go. Takes this person two minutes to open a banana. Why do they have to? The so the commenter thing. brought up, why do they have to open the banana for the bird? The banana, the bird should know how to eat this without having to having to be opened by a human. Don't try to eat that all whole. Don't try to eat that all. What? I thought it's supposed to. It's a baby banana, and this thing, why won't it eat it? Rubbing it all over the couch because it, it's a fake prosthetic beak. Getting banana all over the couch, bird. 
this is how all these toucan videos go. They can't eat. You should just let me hold it while you take pieces off instead of rubbing it everywhere. Because what, in the wild, they have a human there that can <laughs> hold it for them to eat pieces off of it? And the comments are full of people saying, how does this thing live in the wild? And people saying, what is with that noise this thing is making? People just don't understand they're being duped. It's a trained bird. That's why I can't eat it. And yeah, this one has a weird, a weird fake tongue in there. This video is so bad quality. Freezing up. You're making a mess. Okay, See, it sometimes it like stop the video like stops, and I wonder if there were some frames that gave away the secret. You're still just playing with that giant piece of banana, aren't you? Why well, won't it eat it? I'm not gonna take it. I'm trying to help you. She thinks I'm gonna take her banana. Uh, okay, how long has this thing been going? Oh, some of the banana's missing. How does this thing survive in the wild, allegedly? So does anyone have any guesses for what species of bird this really is? Wearing a face mask? I'm not a bird expert. You're messy, you know that? But... I can tell when someone is trying to dupe me. Okay. <laughs> that That's it. That's as good as we'll get. How is this thing supposed to survive? And clearly the beak does not look... They, they tell you stories about how the beak is like super powerful, could crack open nuts. Like... This bird is struggling. <laughs> that's sad. Honestly, really, this is borderline animal abuse. Does that, does that seem like an animal that has evolved over millennia to be an amazing fruit and nut eater or whatever they're going to claim this to be? Or does this look like a trained bird doing parlor tricks and barely succeeding at that? And just before I finish the video, I just want to clarify, of course, I do not believe in evolution. I have tons of videos on the topic. When I was saying, you know, the toucan evolved over millennia, that's of course their story. I believe that all of the animals were created by God, and that's why it's not because of evolution over time scales that nobody can verify. Just complete appeal to authority, if you believe any of that stuff. No, I am a firm believer in creationism.